what's up everybody it is another episode of trifling but true true yeah you see look you done missed it right. look, you just thought no it's your girl babe go down the parking lot hey it's your girl lori <laughs> and we are back trifling but true yes it's crazy it's episode what episode eight and we have a special okay. fucking guest Oh my god, y'all been asking. Y'all, yes, yes. y'all been asking, you shall receive. Yes. <laughs> yes. We got the homie. Super Bowl champion. Ooh, ooh. Businessman. Yes. And our friend. A yes. father, too. Let's not forget that. Yes. yes. Number one. Kill the Ooh, welcome to the show. Yes. Hey, Chuck Gang. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, all right, so. Icebreakers, yeah. I guess, I guess we can. Well, first, I guess we should get into uh, okay. Let's talk about what we drink right now, okay? Or we could, or we could just say, I'm sorry. So, we got these cups, y'all. He represents, he got Hennessy in his cup, though. That is not true. What you got in your cup? This is a a coffee slash tea mug. I have tea in my cup. I'm going to have tea today. Tea at 9 30. Just tea. Right. Well, I got some red wine. I'm an early person, so maybe like 10, 10, 10 o'clock at night, I'm done. So oh, yeah? Mm. This is my nightcap right here. Oh, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, let's, let's jump right <laughs> into this. Um, we have some true tea for today. All right, so um, I don't know if y'all have seen it, but it's basically something going around in the media about um, male birth control. Have y'all seen that? It's like uh, a topic, another topic. Hey, I'm next to take a pill. Yeah, was so like it is it's actually an oral pill. So it's like women's birth control. Okay. Um, they did say, yeah, they did say it's not going to be in the store anytime soon, but it is in production. So niggas, y'all better get it together. Look, I'm, I'm, hey. I'm going to have my man take it. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want your, you want your, your, your man to be a guinea pig? Yeah. But you know what? So I feel like... Here's the deal. But I feel like, you know, when I was in high school or whatever, you know, I played high school football or whatever, and... We talked about creatine, mm -hmm. you know, and it was like creatine, everybody like, you gotta take your creatine, you gotta yeah. take your creatine, but like, this is a new thing on the market, like, well, <laughs> I need to know, at least give me two, three years. Does that reduce years. your sperm count? Is that, is that? No, it wasn't one of those deals, it's just like, you don't know the, what's the, oh, the outcome. side effects. The, the, the oh, outcome. oh, so I think so, so then it's kind of like, you're gonna <laughs> send your man off to be one of the first to be like, oh, well, no, that shit don't work, so. <laughs> no, no, they actually, so they did a trial, um, and the side effects are the same as women, so I'm gonna throw that out there, because okay. we go through the nice. same shit. Mm -hmm. Side effects, oh, we have, um, we swing, get acne, mood swing, weight gain. gain all that shit and so Take men would right have out. the same side effects yeah so i don't want to hear no complaints you know so we do, but we do have vasectomies you, you, you know that right i mean but what but if you want to have kids yeah what what if you don't, don't want to have kids right now it's reversible right this i don't think i mean vasectomy. oh vasectomy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i think right you turn your boss on when you want nurse you right you come on nurse <laughs> shadow okay. i'm trying to see uh, but no, vasectomies, depending on how they clip you, it may not be reversible. But I feel like this birth control is a setup because think about it. When women take birth control, we only stop in one egg. Y'all gotta stop millions Multiple of sperm. Of sperm. Yeah. Yeah. That's the setup. Bitch is still gonna get pregnant. <laughs> yep. It's the setup. So I don't know. I don't know if I want yeah, that. Yeah. Um, it did say that the blood samples from the, tri the trial that they did do uh, suggest that the pill suppress two hormones required for sperm production. So it is effective. That shit's real. See, I don't, mm, I don't know if I want my man playing with his sperm account like that. Then he start shooting blank leg down the line. Right. I don't and know. I don't have kids. But no, you said you want your man to take it. You know what? <laughs> you change your mind? Nah, nah. I mean, shit. You're right. I don't want to say that shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. In the mood, I'm in the state that I'm in. Right now, I say that. But later on down the line, I'll be like, I don't know. Yeah, I said fuck. I might want a little one. I might want a little one. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. fucking shoot the club. Huh? Shoot the club. Nah, I didn't nah, shoot the club. I just didn't want that shit affecting my body. It actually fucked me up. That's actually, yeah. yeah. I stopped taking it too. Gotcha. Yeah. The side effects are terrible. Niggas gonna be out here moody, PMS and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Already. Shit, we Before already got that. Right, we already, already got to deal with them regular. <laughs> shit. We gonna be moody. I'm like, crap, leave me alone. Right. <laughs> Cause that's exactly how we need to. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get back to our guests. So let's start off. Uh, tell the people where you're from. What side of Chicago yes. are you from? Okay, I'm from the south side of Chicago. Hey, yeah. represent. Hey, oh, hey, hey, I ain't hey, from hey, Chicago, hey. but represent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the 
Definitely. All right, you ready for these icebreakers? Y'all ready? Because y'all going to actually get into this too. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. I didn't even hear the icebreakers, so. Okay. Oh, well, hey. I don't think I heard all of them. Okay. I heard some. Hey. <laughs> so we do have um, listeners that are outside of Chicago. So um, those for that dope that live outside of Chicago, um, just a little background. So it's always kind of a competition in Chicago between what it's it's all sides, but it's really west and south sides. Those are the only sides that matter. So it's always competition, whether it's about um, food, clothes, neighborhood, level of ratchetness, yeah. 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 crime, dance, crime. Short second, it's mm-hmm. close, but it, but it's not. Okay. The, the sauce is a little bit too too sweet, mm-hmm. you know. And Harold just got that sauce. He's got that right. Sauce just sauce that, sauce. Yeah. Yeah. You know, right you know how that goes. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. One for one for Harold. One, one for Harold. One point for Harold. Four for Harold. Actually. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes outside will win, sometimes the Cubs will win. Uh-huh. So, but at the same time, you know, definitely it was a great experience. And to this day, I'm still a Cubs fan. Okay, oh, no, I don't no, no, watch baseball really. I don't go soccer. Baseball, baseball is kind of boring. It's, honestly. It's, unless but, you're but, there, unless, but unless you're there, there it's, and, it's, and what makes it yeah. the most disturbing to me is it doesn't have a clock. Mm, Does it make sense? Oh, that's why that should be long as hell. Yeah, you don't have a clock. The games are fun when you go there. Yeah. But on TV, oh, never. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, no. no. It's so much life going on. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, another question. So, if you meet somebody for the first time and and they say they're from Chicago, what's the first thing that comes to mind? What part of town you're from? Yes, yeah. gang gang. I feel like that's <laughs> kind of what everybody wants to know. Like, what side you from? What you from? Yeah. yeah, that's how you know what type of person you is. Like, yeah. I, I think, hey, so, 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 so you know, so, I, so, I, so, I, so, I, I judge the fuck yes. Okay. Because okay. West Side people and South Side people are totally, totally different, totally different yeah. people. Yeah. But people from Chicago don't understand that. Yeah. You don't think so? No, they don't. They don't get it. They be like, you so you, it'd be kind of like one of those things where you meet someone from Chicago out of town mm-hmm. and you say, oh, okay, where you from? And then they'd be like, okay, I'm from the West Side. You go, oh, sure, okay. Right. Yeah, that's you true. Know, yeah. One of those, like, I thought that would be cool. But at the same time, I, shout out to the West Siders. They're also cool West Siders. Yeah, but true. to my default, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's the default to me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand the West Side. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's a little, like I said, it's a, one of those little. It's a little different. 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 Say that. Yeah. 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 Different. 
real different. <laughs> All right, this is the last kind of um, question, but it's going to be a lot of them. So um, I'm going to go through a list of, mm -hmm. of words, slang words, created by Chicagoans, and you give your inter interpretation of what they mean to you. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Gotcha. That's cool. So the first one is on phone them. On oh, phone them. That's on on my homies. On life. On life. <laughs> on life. On yeah. life. Yeah. It's I... like what Adrian Brunner said, like on God and them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, like on God, but and them. I don't know who in them. Right. Who right. 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 But like right. I said, like you can put whatever you want to it. Like when I say, um, you know, on phone them, it's, that's family. Yeah. Yep. And that's everything I believe in. You know what I'm saying? That's life right there. You know, like. <laughs> Alright, next one is Woo Wop the Bam. Woo Wop the Bam. Woo Wop the Bam would be so <laughs> everything. That's right. So it's kind of like, like oh, so Woo Wop right. the Bam is like, et cetera, et cetera. Right. You know that's the best way to do it. Like, so it's like, long story short, fuck right. all that, I'm gonna get to Woo the point. Woo Wop the Bam. This motherfucker did this. They say right in the middle of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Woo Wop the Bam. And then, blah, blah, blah. But I be knowing exactly what happened. And so now you're a true Chicago, so you're talking with your hands. So what happened? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. All right, the next one is out the jam. Out the jam? Oh shit, boy, I finesse some. Boy, <laughs> you know, one of those like, you know, shit got no <laughs> thick, and you know, I got up out of that real fast. You know what I'm saying? Untouched, you know what I'm saying? Clean slate, you know, I got to wipe my white tux on, and you know what I'm saying? Come, come through unstained, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, definitely. One of those. Um, the next one is you just blew me. You are the fucking worst right yes, now. Yes. You're the worst in my life right now. I can't. I, I just can't with you right now. <laughs> like, why the fuck you just like, 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 a weird way to say you just pissed me off. You just pissed me off. Oh, like, oh one of those, like, it? congratulations. <laughs> like, instead of, you know, you pissed me off, you played yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's what you're going to say. Yeah, I never took it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Teed up. Teed up. Oh, it's cracking. And, and, and it's people that don't know what that means. Right. Like, it's going right. up. It's about, yeah. to, it's about to be one. It's, we we finna go crazy. It's about to be lit. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did we, did we yeah. crazy too? Did uh, they come from Chicago? I feel like, I feel like, listen, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I want to say this. I want to say this. Make that clear. Okay. Chicago, I want to be for real. Like, Chicago is so trendy. Yeah, so we trendy. are. So we, we got, are. So, so you know, we created thought. Yes. Thought yes. Thought Tiana. Bust down. Yes. You know what I'm saying? One of those, like, so it's kind of like, you know, we are the, you, honestly, we're part of the culture. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You can't go about being a part of the culture but not, without speaking Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very true. What up, That's Chicago? True. Real shit. All right, a couple more. Tweaking. Tweaking. You tripping. Like, this, <laughs> you, like you're doing the most right now. You're doing the most. Like, yeah. You're doing the most. You damn near just blew me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Chicago term because I actually knew a few people that didn't know the context I was using it. Mm. They think tweaking is straight up a club, a crackhead. <laughs> they think tweaking is just that. I, think, I used to but, think that, but I think we turned it into But, but no, his like, yeah, yeah, it, it, I honestly believe that. that it came from like, something like, you know, like, yeah. okay, like, oh, he high as fuck right now. He's just, he's on one right now. Yeah. Like, you know, whatever, for whatever yeah, reason, it's yeah. to be drunk high, whatever, rolling high, we want to do it. But at the same time, like, you know, it became so broad where it's like okay now you tweaking like mm -hmm. you ain't seeing out of with me right. like, you know what I'm saying like <laughs> yeah, what the yeah. fuck are you yeah. what you want right I, I use that like on a daily man I'll especially yeah, every day people at work yeah, they tweaking tweaking yeah. <laughs> they tweaking on me yeah but you can't you can't help when people do people things you gotta understand yeah. you're dealing with people so that's, true. that's one of my major major deals I, I always like to understand that dealing with people like mm -hmm. it's like you know it's human nature. you gotta understand it, like yeah Everybody gonna think the same. Everybody gonna do the same. So yeah. Awesome. yeah. yeah. Um. All right. Short. 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 That one got multiple. That, that yeah. That's, that's multiple, but at the same time, it's kind of like sweetheart, baby. Mm, like that's my like, short. But you like, know, sometimes people call, call their kids shorty. Yeah. They call the kids shorty. No, they call their guys shorty. And they kids. And that's so and weird. But it's like, a different sorry. time for me then, I guess, because I, I never heard. <laughs> or I never use the term no, shorty to one of my homies. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that's kind of like a, a a downer. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I look at one of my homies like, "What's up, shorty?" Like, what? <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's like a young nigga. Yeah. yeah. If somebody yeah. say something to me, it's like, "Like, what's up, shorty?" Like, shorty, you fuck. <laughs> Right, like, that's not what I'm saying. Because I always took it as like, 
people say shorty is to a female or to someone younger than them. Exactly. Yeah. That's you know, how I, I, I always look, I always took it as a female. Like yeah. you know, of course the shorty is obvious, but like you see, know what I'm saying? It's but, if you, but if you're thinking it's about fuck, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, like I'm, I'm off camera, but that's West Side. West Side they say, Hey, what's up, shorty to their home? Oh, what we gonna call man. our home is what's up, big home? Big oh, home big We gonna say big home. Damn. Big yeah. home. Yeah. We gonna never say shorty. Yeah. Yeah. We, we always up in our brother. Yeah. Yeah. We not gonna yeah. we, we gonna make them small, we're gonna make them large. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. And, and I, I promise like, you know, I take Instagram for what it is. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, it has its benefits, it has its, its, its cons as well. Yeah. And I seen a meme of a couple of UCL, UCLA basketball players. And one guy, I guess, I don't, I don't know what it was. Maybe he missed a shot, maybe it was a foul or something like that. And it was like, he was walking with his head down. And his oh. and his teammate came yeah. and picked his head up. Oh, yeah, that was, that was the cool. biggest shit I've seen all week. Was, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's because it's like, now nah, yeah. we had the heat of the moment, hitting the game, and I've been in that position before being a competitor, being an athlete, mm-hmm. where you know things don't go in your favor at the time where you, you wanted to go in your favor, yeah. and it's like fuck, like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I remember. Yeah, shout out to Antoine for there right now. We <laughs> were we're down in Jacksonville, Florida, playing the Jacksonville Jaguars, and. It was late in the game, whatever, in the fourth quarter when I dropped the interception. It, it, clearly, I, I, if I would have caught it, we would have won the game. Maybe I would even have scored to put the game a little bit more okay. in distance, mm-hmm. but I dropped it. Mm-hmm. And he was like, shit, kill, shit, kill. And I said, I know, I know, I know. And he was like, you know what? Fuck that shit, fuck that shit. It's over, let's go, let's go. I'm like, you know what? It's right. We end up losing the game, but at, the, at that moment, that's what you need. You don't need that. Right, you know what I'm saying? right. Yeah, that negativity. Yeah. Yeah, so, but yeah, definitely. That pick me up. Shout out to my bro. That's my bro right there. <laughs> Shout out to him. Mm-hmm. All right, got two more. Uh, next one is Buddy Ass. Buddy Ass. So it's like, that's like dude ass. Yeah. This goofy. Yeah. We got right. that. Right. So I hope y'all got goofy the on there. So goofy is turning into a universal word too. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, yeah. so, so now, that, that buddy and them, like, you know, yeah. is it buddy and them? Buddy. Not buddy and them. Buddy, buddy and them. Yeah. Buddy yeah. ass. Yeah. So, okay, so it's buddy ass. So, so yeah, buddy ass is like, so, so now it's mostly like the beginning or the intro of a story when you use that word. Mm-hmm. So it's like, nah, let me tell you about buddy ass, man. <laughs> like true. buddy ass. And, true. You know, so then it's kind of like people from Chicago, this is another thing. We always talk indiscreet or. It's never direct. It's never direct. It's always a mystery. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's kind of like, what a fool ass. And we all understand that shit too. Like, like, who's fool? Why didn't you just tell me who fool yeah. was? Yeah. It lets you go, like, yeah. So it's just one, it's one of those like, he not cool with me, buddy ass. Buddy ass. But it's buddy ass. But here's the deal. But like, but that's what makes us who, who we are, and that makes us like, you know. That's that's our culture, mm-hmm. being Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. That you know what I'm saying. Everything is put into a mindset and a thought versus mm-hmm. just being straight out, straightforward. Chicago's yeah. amazing. Place. It, it is, is amazing. Place. Place. Yeah. Y'all need to come visit if y'all want to. Yes. Here. Can what's I make a comment on Buddy Ass though? Yeah. If you ever hear a female referring to a dude as Buddy Ass, she don't fuck with him. She don't like him. Yeah. yeah. So, is that true? I just learned that. Yeah. Yes. Period. Yeah. So. Because yeah. so, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> so, if we saw the story with me, let me tell you about Buddy Ass. It's not going to be. Oh, that's it's not good. Okay, I get that. Let's get that. So us guys got that, but you know the game is to be sold, not to be told. No snitching on okay. <laughs> at all. All right. Um. Was that all? The that was ones? all the icebreakers. But I have one more thing that I want to say. What? Okay. Uh, okay. So. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We didn't talk about Goofy. Goofy is oh, one of my favorite. Oh, okay. You know, I used to get offended when people used to say Goofy. Call like, call me a Goofy. Yeah, that's so okay. Should be offended. Like, so, you better not call me. You better not call me. Call me anything in the world or call me. Listen, that was, that was my own. Like, so, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Like, yeah, there's certain true. words that I figure that probably trigger women. They'll yeah. be like, oh, that's yeah. just like the top of the line disrespectful. Yeah. Okay, let's get right. So, we get right into the topic? Yeah. Okay, so I gotta pull up the definition. So, the topic for this week's episode is toxic masculinity. And the whole reason why I really wanted to talk about this um, topic was because of what happened to Nipsey Hussle. So rest in peace. Rest in peace. He was an amazing person, amazing spirit. Um, And unfortunately, he lost his life due to a man who was suffering from toxic masculinity. Mm -hmm. Um, So let me read the definition for y'all so that y'all can know exactly what it means. It's a little long, a little long-winded. I damn near had to... um, (laughs) 
know, can she read? I had to like mute my shade, shade my shade room on Instagram because of that shit. Like I couldn't yeah. take I all the posts about Nipsey. I literally couldn't. I had to. I had to mute everybody. I was like, I can't do this. It's, it's, just, it's, one it's, little, it's, it's just one of those. It's just one of those moments where you look at like. It could have been anybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just one of the. Yeah. It, you, 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 you can't help but to put yourself in that position where you yeah. know you see a person that you know, yeah. and you guys had a dispute or whatever. You right. know what I mean? And and that and like that happens. Happen. It like it like that happens, and, and you know, for like, you to retaliate or you know feel a certain that yeah. strong about the situation yeah. where you yeah. probably didn't even feel like that. Yeah. You just probably said what you said, and yeah. you know you it, thought it was over. Yeah. 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 But like the reason why I hit everybody so hard was because like he was the most least problematic person yeah. in this world. Like he was doing, he was shit. trying yeah. to do amazing things for his community. help. Pure optimistic. Yes. 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 And then he had just show. such good energy and like he, you could tell like he was a deep spiritual person. A good example. You know what I mean? He's mm -hmm. one of those guys yeah. that you know yeah. that not that had the the whole you know silver spoon in his mouth the whole right. way. Right. But you know, in the same in life, it's about like you say, like what you speak about is a marathon. So now it's like, here's the marathon. I'm preparing myself for the marathon. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. It's what is in the hair. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. But so, unfortunately, his death has been weighing heavy on a lot of people, including us. Um, so, I'm going to read you guys the definition of what toxic masculinity is. This is really long, so listen and pay attention. Toxic masculinity is a narrow and repressive description of manhood, designating manhood as defined by violence, sex, status, and aggression. It's the cultural ideal of manliness where strength is everything while emotions are a weakness, where sex and brutality are yardsticks by which men are measured, while supposedly feminine traits, which can range from emotional vulnerability to simply not being hypersexual, are the means by which your status as man can be taken away. So that's the definition of toxic masculinity. Um, so a big thing that we wanted to touch on was men and their emotions. Yes, that's the big one. Men, it, it, it's known. From the time you are born, you are taught that boys aren't supposed to cry, be tough. If you fall, scrape your knee. You, the first thing your mom tells you is to get up, stop crying, stop crying you're okay, mm -hmm. be strong, you're a boy. Mm -hmm. And that is embedded into men. So as they grow up, they hold that, like, I can't show emotion. It's not a normal thing that men do. Um... So, what do you think about that? Like, how were, how did your parents raise you? Well, I, I grew up in a single parent home. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a house full of women. Mm -hmm. So, okay. you may be a little different. Mm -hmm. Right, so, right. Yeah. You probably a little more in touch with your mom. feminine side. Well, it's, 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 it's a, but, but it's fair, that's fair to say, but also I think that it, it was just, it was just a different situation because I felt like I understood women more mm -hmm. versus you know, that's being it. more tapped into my sensitive side. That's crazy. Because I literally, um, I was listening to TED Talk. Some. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually, in another podcast, and I heard someone ask, um, can a female teach a male how to be a man? And I heard a no answer and I heard a yes answer. And like, they both kind of brought up good ish mm -hmm. points but I obviously agree with one point over the other mm -hmm. um so what do you think I mean obviously I, you're honestly I don't think me having children I don't mm -hmm. think that you know just just my opinion you know mm -hmm. I don't think that a woman can honestly teach teach a man how to mm -hmm. be a man okay you know you can teach him how to be a good citizen you can mm -hmm. teach, teach him how to you know mm -hmm. love you can, she can teach him how to you know all those things but there's certain characteristics of being a man that you know, just a woman, just being a woman, just can't teach a mm. man. That's so. One of the um, examples that he gave for that, um, for the no answer, was he said a woman can teach a man how to cook, but that doesn't make him a chef. So he's mm. only a chef under the the trait of an actual chef, which will make him a chef. <laughs> um, and then on the flip side of that, I heard yes, a woman can teach a man a male how to be a man. Um, it's all about that dominant influence. So no matter where he's at, she takes him to go buy a tie. She's going to have the man at the store show him how to tie a tie, how to buy a tie, what tie is the mm -hmm. best. Um, it, it could be an uncle in the family. It could be, so it doesn't necessarily need to be like a father figure. Mm -hmm. um, it could be, it, it could be external. And, um, and, and not to cut you off, but that, that's fair. That's, mm -hmm. that's fair to say because, um, like I said, I, I grew up in a single parent household where, you know, my mom and my, my grandmother raised me mm -hmm. and I 
felt like there was several situations where I felt like I was looking for a certain reaction from my mom and I didn't get it. Didn't get it. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it. And it was just kind of like, well, damn, I, I really didn't understand what she was, you know, she was mm -hmm. doing at the moment. Mm -hmm. But she's yeah. trying, to, trying to be both. She's trying to be, you know, the father and the, and the mother at the mm -hmm. same time. Yeah. And, you know, it threw me for a, it threw me for a loop. It was kind of like, nah, here it is. I'm not going to get into the story. And just know that I fell off a roof. Oh my God! I was a kid, you know, I fell off the roof, and and I'm, you know, I'm I'm coming walking into the house, I'm embarrassed already, you know what I mean, stuff like that. My friends are laughing at me instead of asking me, I'm okay. You know? So I just, you know, I fall off a roof, I get up, and I just walk off, and mm -hmm. and I go, you know, go home or whatever, and I'm crying or whatever, and my mom's like, you know, if you don't come in this house crying, like you know what I mean, you know? Mm -hmm. shit, like she like, listen. Step back outside, get yourself to get your exact words, get your shit together. Yeah. And then now you walk in the house and then now we can talk. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's kinda like, well shit, like I didn't expect that coming from my mom. I expect that like, you know. Right. Well right. come here, baby, like, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. But yeah, but I, I got what she was coming from. Now that I'm older, I get what she's right. talking about. I understand yeah. and and it's a beautiful thing to where a woman can, you know, try to be both, you know what yeah. I mean? Because it's such hard being one, you know, so now that you're trying to be both, you know, shout out to you. you know? Yeah, I think, I think you have to have that balance. Yeah, you know? you yeah. Have balance. Have balance. But I will say, men or boys that grow up in single parent households, specifically with just a mom, I don't necessarily think that makes them less of a man because okay. they didn't have a dad around. Yeah. So it's kind of like that idea of can a man or can a woman teach a man how to be a man? It's like, I'm gonna say yes, cause it's like if, even if you don't have a dad, that doesn't make you less That's of a okay. man, or you don't know how to. Be. I, I just, I, I, it's, it's a See, disagree. It's a, it's a sign of. And I, and I the thing is, maybe we need to define what teaching a man how to be a man is, Means. because what is being a man then? Because, because now here's the deal. Now, I have kids. I have two sons. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a son that's nine. I have a son that's eleven. And I'm not really fighting with the moms, but it's it's. Is so curiously on my mind about mm -hmm. you know taking taking more responsibility maybe like you know mm -hmm. being the sole parent versus them mm -hmm. being the sole parent now that they're getting up in age in mm -hmm. double digit age yeah. like a mom is going to you know nurture you and do those things and, and now here it is it's time for them to you know actually come out the shell and, mm -hmm. and mom don't really know what to do with them you know what I'm saying and where now here it is they living with me they see how I wake up they see what I do they see every move I make, you know what I mean? And that's something that a woman can't show him how to do. I, I feel like more so women just may not understand what it's like to, to be, a be a man, but, but I think they can but can still... A woman teach a, can a woman teach a, a, a young man how to fish? Can a woman teach a, a young, young man, man how to fish? fish? If she know how to fish, yeah. If she know how to, so now, here's the deal. So now... That, but you can teach somebody... But no, no, but be, to be honest, be mm -hmm. honest, like, there's different categories to what women do mm -hmm. and what men do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that may be something that's universal where women and men do the same thing or whatever. But more commonly, like, you know, mom usually, I'm not going to say, like, you know, 8 out of 10, she can't teach him how to use his hands. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Be a carpenter. Right. You know. Change a tire. Be a change a tire. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. That's stuff that men do. That's where, where the man comes in hand. Like, it's kind of like, okay, if you're on the road, you know, and you're, and you're tired of a bus or something like that, nine times out of ten, you won't know how to change it. You, you probably can figure it out. Sure, come on, like, like, But see, the thing. <laughs> life life, yeah. life comes into play where it's kind of like, well, shit, I feel like, you know, mm -hmm. maybe I can YouTube it. Maybe I can, you know. I've seen it done before. I just see, never that's the thing. I feel mood. like a lot of women just won't take that initiative to learn. Mm -hmm. But like changing a tire isn't necessarily. Well, how many men take initiative to cooking, thing. or you know what I'm saying? The the initiative to actually cleaning versus straightening up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's different. Women and like the, the the whole trait behind of men are from Mars and women are from Venus, or however however it goes, it's. We have some things that you guys would never understand about us that See, we would never understand about y'all. And, this this, like, and I think this is why the topic is so important because yeah. we're training people to yeah. like separate when we're all human at the yeah. end of the day. At the end yeah. of the day. So we're now, adding gender roles to shit that doesn't even need to have a gender role attached. Mm -hmm. I personally and think fair. that a woman cannot teach a man how to be a man because 
I'm not saying that a, a single mom can't raise her son to be a phenomenal man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shout now, mm -hmm. right? Shout <laughs> yeah, shout However, um, I think that the women that put those male dominant figures in their kids' lives is who make that man. Hmm. So I don't necessarily think that's her teaching him how to be a man. I think that's them teaching him characteristics of himself like he's of course I think naturally a human is going to pick up on what they like mm -hmm. so I that's why I just don't think that like I said I think that as a woman it's some things that I just won't understand and, and I, I agree with that and I said that earlier women may not understand everything but I do think women do raise like you said phenomenal men and mm -hmm. whether you want to title that as a woman raising a man mm -hmm. or not so I think it's just a personal preference of how you want to label that. But I think it's women do true. raise phenomenal men, even if they don't fully understand what it's like to be a man. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Like I said, my mom did as a great job as she can. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, there was time when maybe I was a teenager and it's kind of like, you know, it's so many things that your mom can say to you that can kind of yeah. be like, all right, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually scared. Of you. I'm, yeah. I'm actually fear of the consequences. And that's a good point. I think that having um, a frame of reference, whether it's a man or a woman, is important. So if that person feels like they respect, they, they can respect you, they look up to you, mm -hmm. that's going to trump anything. Oh yeah, yes. of course. Yes. Yes. Well, it's all about well, my mom is still respecting me so young, right. where like, uh, here is an 18 year old kid, mm -hmm. and my mom's kind of, you know, getting aggressive with me, and it's kind of like, you know, I, I know I could probably whoop my mom. Right. Back, but, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it's like, you know, I love her so much and I respect her so much mm -hmm. that I wouldn't even, you know, question anything she's saying or doing because, you know, you know it's coming from love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, so to kind of touch on that, do you agree with the idea that anger is often only expressed with confidence when it comes to men who suffer from toxic masculinity? Because I feel like Can you men... Go a little bit more depth in that? So I feel like men, because to touch on the fact that boys are taught to hold in their emotions and not mm -hmm. show them, mm -hmm. um, I feel like when they do express emotion, it's typically anger. And anger is the one thing that they feel so confident yeah. with that, that they can't express. It's just like, you know, a volcano. And I, I yeah. I think most guys are like that. I think, I, I think I've, I've suffered from that as well, where, you know, you kind of try to look past things and mm -hmm. you kind of try to say, you know what, my... You know, is this is my my softer side of yeah. things. You know, where it's kind of like damn, like fuck. But once it gets to that point where you just like, you know what, I can't take it no more. You just you come up, you become a volcano where you just erupt. Yeah, yeah. And, my and, and I, I feel like a lot of men do that, and yes. it's and and that's. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's, it's not. Healthy. It's not and at I, all. And, and, I think and I'm trying to tap like into that side life. where you know, instead of waiting till it's game seven, fourth quarter, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tap into these things in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. They don't become big issues and they're they're small right. issues, yeah. you know. Yeah. And it's kind of like you know where maybe I'm tripping, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Or, or maybe I'm not in my right mindset. And right. now that I talk to you about it, and we come mm -hmm. with a clarity of part about our situation, yeah. where you know that we can actually talk about it versus it just being you know a dispute. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But a lot of boys don't understand that they it's okay to talk. But it's just like they were just raised to hold it in and mm -hmm. they do turn into volcanoes. Like my brother, for example, phenomenal man now. Mm -hmm. But when we were growing up, he was that kid because even I was raised to hold in my emotions. Yeah. And I'm a girl. So I just now as an adult am learning to express my emotions and show, and even ex experience what it's like to feel something other than anger. Yeah. Okay. Right. That I, got, I, have, I have a great example. Um, so when, you, when, when you're a kid, you know, so... When I gotta say this, so when you're a child, when mm -hmm. you, you're a preteen, mm -hmm. when you start to say, okay, I, I like girls, yeah. and you know, girls, I like guys, and whatever. So when a, a guy usually like you when he's maybe around 10, 11 years old, mm -hmm. how do he express that? Flirting, bullying. He, he, he will hit you or something, like he'll punch <laughs> you or I'll something like that. And it's like, <laughs> But I like you, like yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's kind of like I don't know how to channel in with my feelings. I don't know how to express myself. Mm -hmm. Like, and I think that women are 
to blame for that. Yes, I was just going to say that goes into my point. Yeah. We the culprit. We are the culprit. Yes, yes. We yes. are part of the problem. Yeah, we, we shame dudes for, you know, being crying, so. showing yes. their emotions, being, so. being overly sensitive by calling them bitches yeah. and... Um, and pumps Soft. and soft. I'm guilty of doing shit. that at dating as an adult. Like, yeah. I used to be like, Me I too. like him, but he's just so different. sensitive. He overly emotional. Like, I can't yeah. date a dude oh who is more emotional than me. Yeah. But now yeah. that I am this emotional person and I've touched into my emotional side, I'm like, damn, I kind of want a man that could feel what I feel. Yeah. yeah. That, understand. Yeah, that's, that's, but it's still, you know, yeah. it's still levels. I don't want to fucking cry. Right. It's yeah. strong. Well, honestly, like, the man ain't going to be crying all day long. Yeah. Right. When, it, when, it's, when okay. it's necessary, like, if we're having a very deep conversation, I want you to be able to open up and express yourself. Yeah. And do it in a way that's you're not yelling, we're not screaming, we're just talking, and if you feel the need to cry, cry. Yeah. I, I want to be that type yeah. of wife, like, baby, lay on my shoulder. I'll wait right, come on, right, come yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Like, as, a, as, a, as a man, I think that's all that we really look for. We, you know, Everything that you consider tough, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. You know. So. I mean, and that's what that's what society has made the norm for men. So it doesn't surprise me at all. But um, I mean, it's how can we? You don't want to expose yourself to the softer side, you know? Yeah, yeah. Who, and who I mean, wants that? I feel like women at the same time, you know, women do women things, you know. Yeah, we do. But at the same time, like you don't want to be vulnerable. Elaborate. You don't want to be exposed as vulnerable. Am I safe to say that? Yeah. Elaborate. Women don't want to be exposed. I think that's like, when the man needs to like, so realize who, what type of woman he dealing mm-hmm. with. Yeah, that's when it taps into what type of woman are you dealing with? Is this a woman that you know you can be vulnerable with? Is this someone who you can know you can express yourself with? I think that comes with growth. Yes, but you know, mm-hmm. I think, I think in, in, in the interaction too. The interaction yeah, too, I think deep yeah. down you will know if that maturity level is there because yeah. you got your naturally you gonna have your guard up anyway. Me personally. Any relationship that I did go into, mm-hmm. I want to cut all the guessing out. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's tough to read a person already. You want to see the true you off that. So it's one of those where I want to be myself, and that's yeah. that's yeah. so easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't want to make things complicated as they are. Yeah. You know what I mean? So You should be. Yeah. You should be vulnerable. And I think that our society and women... Um, need to start encouraging that more. Honestly, yeah. we need yeah. to start encouraging yeah. that to be more. Exactly. more, more I think more, I think more, women more, in general need to start asking more questions. I, mean, mm-hmm. I think guys don't like questions, but you guys need to ask more questions. You think Just so? be, That's a good I, I think I, I, I overdo my niggas with questions. They like glory as well. But see, one of, there, there's like a difference that. between asking and questions. Because no nigga want to feel like they're in an interview. Yeah. There's a way you can get information it's out of somebody without asking a question. It can't be like, questions. so here's question kind of 19 of, you know, 30 minutes that we've been together. Like, you know? <laughs> but I don't be asking like I'm for real, y'all. I don't be asking <laughs> right out. I be like, two questions and then like, next it has time to be like, conversation. I, I'm, I'm, I'm always, I'm always say that. I always say that. Well, if I understand what I'm doing, I'm fine. It's just, it's just that. That those glitches in the computer when it's kind of like, wait, 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 wait. I didn't sign up for this person. I don't even know who this person is. Right. You know what I mean? So once you understand what you're dealing with, I think I think everything else falls into place. Well, you're in a comfortable relationship, obviously. You're engaged. Yeah. Um, Shout out. Do yeah. you openly admit when you are hurting to her? Like I'm willingly. Of that. Like, I'm or, do, I'm or does it take that. you time? Because it, it takes it does take time. Because, you know, I feel like you know, I'm not gonna tap into my situation as as much as if you probably, you guys probably want to. But um, <laughs> no, we don't. Right? We yeah, yeah. don't take oh, that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. But yeah, but definitely, you know, when there's a thing where you you always want to feel like you know you're the protector, you you know, mm-hmm. and when you're dealing with a woman who has actually a status where you know. It's beyond you, yeah. you know what I mean? A world, yeah. world known status where you don't want to, you know what I mean? You, you can come to her with things, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. But you don't want to overwhelm that person. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like, I try my best not to do that. And not just in me being selfish, but just on the base of, you know, our relationship. Right. And, I, and you know, I'm definitely comfortable, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I've definitely cried, you know what I mean? I definitely laugh, you know, we had, you know, ups and downs personally, and I expressed myself, yeah. you know, and it, it, it wasn't pretty, but at the same time, you know, that's what, that's what healthy relationships do. Yeah, right, yeah. I think that's natural. And, you know, I feel like, you know, I feel like our relationship is natural as it gets. That's dope. That's beautiful.
But I will challenge you when you're hurting. It's okay to go to her right away. I get a lot of men feel like they're well, they're putting everything. I feel like everything with a man with his feelings is kind of. Not to say calculated, but yeah, it's a time and a place. Yeah, and 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 a place. It's, it's I can't just say you know one of those like if I went through something with them. So here's an example. So when I play play the NFL, there were definitely days in practice where I didn't. I wish I could have that. Mm -hmm. And it was like you know you may be like fuck. I wish I could have that play back. And you're yeah. thinking about it constantly, constantly, constantly. And it, it, you don't get over it until you see it. So you really don't see your fuck up until the next day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you go home and you're still thinking about it. You probably got it on your iPad. You're looking at it and stuff like that. And those emotional those feelings may come over and roll over to home. And my rule was, when I walk through that door, do not, you know what I'm saying, do not let my emotions or whatever from work roll over to here. Mm -hmm. They didn't do shit. They didn't go out there and do none of that. This yeah. What I'm trying to bring to bring into the house, they didn't do none of that. So. You know, I come in with a fresh mind or whatever. If it takes for me to turn the key, take a deep breath, and walk in, you know, and fake some shit, mm -hmm. I would not bring work and tell them. That's a good point, though. Yeah. But well, subconsciously, though, yeah, it's too. different. Subconsciously, though, those emotions are are sitting with you. So mm -hmm. I feel like it's a difference between coming in and being like, man, I had a, I had a rough day. Let me tell you about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beside, you know, rather than yeah. coming in, like, just throwing shit and, you know. Yeah, I would rather you come home and be like, just. Talking it out. Yeah, talk. Yeah. Tell me about your day. You don't got to go into too much detail. We ain't got to talk about it for hours, but just tell but, me. And mm -hmm. and if I know you're not in a good mood, that's fine. But now I understand why you're behaving the way you're behaving. Mm -hmm. If you are coming in, like you said, throwing stuff, mm -hmm. slamming doors, throwing your keys around, yeah. you well, know, turning the cold shoulder. You know, something. Yeah, I get it. I think every situation is different. Right. Yeah. My situation was like where my trigger was question. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I, get, I get annoyed yeah. by that when I'm in a bad mood. Like, you, know? you know what? That's me too. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, damn, now I'm irritated. Like, now like, I'm mad. Like, like, yeah, so, <laughs> most of the time when I walk in, when I walk in, it would be like, okay, she already knows. Mm -hmm. Give him at least 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think that everybody. If you know your man, yeah. you know when you You know what I mean? Like, Decompress. <laughs> You know, or, or she, it was to the point where she understood like my energy when I walked in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I had to like, yeah, like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like okay. He is not All right, not to <laughs> <laughs> like you know. Wait, what yeah, I mean? but I think as women too, we have to understand that just because you're not speaking to us at that moment doesn't mean that you're oh. mad at us or yeah. that yeah. we did something wrong. So a lot of times mm -hmm. we start asking questions and digging because we think it's something about us. No, right. It can be just a long day, and I ran out yeah. of words, yeah. and I rather you know. I like at this. least gain some energy back. Mm -hmm. Ran out of work. And then it, it, it <laughs> could be like, you know, all right, now I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, now ask me anything you need to ask me. Versus me walking through the door where, you know, an hour ago, I just got beat for three touchdowns in practice. Yeah. And I don't want to talk about that because I don't want to worry about you because he's like, nigga, you about to get fired. You know what I mean? <laughs> some shit like that, you know? Yeah. Because, right. you, know, you know, the NFL is, you know, you know what it stands for. It's not for long. And, Sure. And, you know, and, if, and if you know, if you're not on your game, you know, the game moves on. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I think this is the biggest thing about a man and the situation of party, just saying vulnerability. Mm -hmm. so a man important. don't want another man to ever feel like they need it. If that yeah. makes sense. You know? Yeah, everybody got that time. Yeah, it's a marathon. Shout out to Nipsey. Shout out to Yeah, shout out to him, man. I'm still sad about that. Um, so... Ooh, okay. Do you guys want to touch on how men view women or accountability? Let's go to accountability. Let's, accountability. Yeah, let's definitely do accountability. But accountability would be good. Yeah. I feel like a lot of men don't take accountability for their own actions. They point the finger at everybody. You did this. You did this. Because of you, I, I did this or I feel this way. Mm -hmm. It's always somebody else's fault but their own. Well, we don't take know, accountability okay. in life. I know a lot of men who don't take accountability for their actions. I don't even think it's just men. I think I it's think women. It's, it's everybody. everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think but we're going to talk about men right now. Right. That's what I'm talking about. I think, I think, <laughs> I think, I think, I think before, you can, men. before you can take accountability in situations, you got you got to take accountability in life. Yeah. 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 Because now, you got to think about it. Here's this. Like, you know, you're in a relationship with, with, with a man where, you know, He's in and out of situations of living, or whatever, whatever you got going on, and then you expect him to be accountable in, you know, in a relationship. It's kind of that's kind of like an oxymoron. Yeah, yeah. If that makes sense. On like that, don't know. 
going back to vulnerability though i think men need to willing need to be willing to open themselves up and be more vulnerable to those who will hold them accountable so okay. you have to have people in your life that yeah, will of hold course. them accountable of, you course. Know? Mm -hmm. of course and i feel like i feel like that with with, with our brotherhood i think in, in the brotherhood that um that i have you know we can do a better job of holding each other accountable mm -hmm. you know what i mean i think i think we come to a place where you know we're, we're brothers, you know what I mean? Right. So, you yeah. know, we're, we're there regardless. Yeah. If, 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 if whatever you do, we'll, Having whatever it is, whatever. Be, yeah, but at the same time, we got to be accountable. Yeah. We got to police ourselves. Okay. We got to be better. Yeah. We do. And I think everything starts with yourself. Yeah. 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 yeah, everything yeah. starts with yourself. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a big thing to touch on with this whole topic in general. I think it all comes down, it comes back to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter how you were raised, no matter what environment you were raised in, at the end of the day, you are the only person responsible for you. So, you have the, the ability to change yourself and be the person that you truly want to be. And you just got to own up to your shit. And the people around you need to call you out on it. When yeah, you really definitely, are definitely. Acting crazy. Definitely. And sometimes I think, you know, the protection of feelings. But what's right and right and what's wrong is wrong. It is what it is. In black and white, it's right mm -hmm. or it's wrong. Facts is no gray. It yeah. ain't no halfway, no. no. Exactly. I think I've said this like every episode so far, but I feel like fear is again at the root of everything. In general, people be fear failure. Mm -hmm. But there's lessons with failure and there's, there's, there's lessons with success. Um, fear can be a good thing. Yeah, definitely. You know, there's I fear a lot of things that in life that is just natural things. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I fear losing my grandma. Yeah. To follow time. Yeah. You know, I fear losing my daughter to becoming a teenager. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that I fear. Yeah. And it's kind of like, how do you handle these fears? Because it's only reality. Well, yeah. what I would yeah. say is, be careful what you think because your fears can turn into your reality. You absolutely like kind of like fake manifesting it in a way because you think about like well i'm scared please you know please don't let this happen please don't let this happen let's go and behold it fucking happen. happen. Yeah. so yeah. i try to tell people like be careful what you think that's stay that's positive a, at honestly, all times i honestly believe that's a different type of fear like yeah. I, I fear i fear things that you know you know I mean, they come in, but you're not, prepared, yeah, yeah. you're not preparing yourself for those things. The whole reason why we really wanted to do this topic was to start the conversation of what a man really truly should be or what a man is. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like the way we are raising men, we're raising it men to be to stop. It's, it's a top, we're teaching <laughs> them to negative stop. traits. Yeah. We're teaching them not to be human. And at the end of the day, men have emotions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Men need to learn how to express emotions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Men need to learn how to ask for help. Mm -hmm. It's okay to not have all the answers. It's okay to not okay have to everything that you need. It's okay to be yeah. vulnerable. But I also think women need to hold themselves accountable and stop feeding into that. Yes. Because I feel like we're not making it a safe place for men to be all of the, all of those things. Yes. Nice. All right. All right. right. I know, right? Let's get into this question. Week. So, <laughs> Kelvin, so I know you're new to the show. Now, every week we have a crush. Mm -hmm. It's somebody that is super dope. I know you're real good at, um, you know, shouting people out, putting people on. Mm -hmm. You like just helping people in the community, yeah. you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what we try to do on our platform yeah. is we shout out dope ass people whether they are artists mm -hmm. um humanitarians, teachers humanitarians yeah. Yeah. no matter what um we try to give them shit mm -hmm. and like but we try to do um millennials it could be anybody yeah anybody okay. we try but, to get people that aren't necessarily famous people yeah. that are still oh, on that's not, right. that's, i know a lot of those people yeah. 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 i know a lot of famous, uh, famous people yeah. so now the, my question week is an industry nigga, no, I'm just playing. He ain't industry, but he famous, he famous. like he famous, famous, but <laughs> fake famous. No, I love you, Ryan. So, um, my question week is my good friend, Ryan Louis. He is a fashion designer. I don't know if you heard of him. He is um, the fashion di designer. His design is, they say designer. I have to show okay. you the, uh, yeah, that's the, the name of his, like some of his stuff. But he has a, different labels within his design, I believe. Okay. But the reason why I chose Ryan is because I feel like his d designs are very urban and unique. And it's getting to a point where you can look at his designs and you can be like, damn, that's a Ron Louis design. And I'll show y'all his Instagram and stuff. But definitely y'all go follow him. His name is Ron Louis on Instagram. And his website is Ron Louis Customs. 
I wish I could pull it up. And make that it's, it's Ron. It's Ron. And we'll plug him. Yeah, we always, if you guys never read the details or the description of the episode, all the information for every crush of the week is down there. Their um, social media handles, their websites, it's all clickable so you can just follow it straight from the description. Right, and he is like a dope ass designer. He's been doing this for a minute. Mm-hmm. He's Chicago. Not just show me his Instagram, I definitely heard him. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah. say he looked familiar, so mm-hmm. he he's dope as fuck. Um, everybody go check him out. He do a lot of pop up shops. Uh, some of his design labels that's listed under his um, Instagram is Farrell dot co. I'm sorry, uh, Supply Lo. I'm sorry, I cannot read Supply Locale mm-hmm. and Pogo Chicago. Shout out to the Chicago School. Okay. <laughs> now. Chicago, right? Yes, yes he is based in Chicago. So, um, yes, everybody go follow Ron Louis. It's Ron underscore Louis. Hey, shout out yes. to you. Yes. Yeah. I got somebody. Who? Can I, can I shout out somebody? Go you got a crush? You got a uh, I, I crush? Well, he, he I crush, I crush them. I, I crush a lot of people. Okay. You know I mean? <laughs> in different ways. In different ways. In different ways. Right. But shout I, I like to crush um, um, Inglewood Barbie out. Definitely, she. Who was Inglewood? So Inglewood Barbie is someone from, um, in the Inglewood community. Um, basically, is she a rapper? Side. She's not. She's not a rapper. She's uh-huh. actually. I want to. I don't know what to call it. I want to call her an activist or whatever. Uh-huh. She's an activist, and uh-huh. she um, every day. If I want to say Monday through Friday, um, it may be seven days a week. I'm not sure, but she provides her time, her energy, you know, her efforts, her her family, her friends, and you know anybody that wants to help and contribute to feeding the feeding the homeless. This her. Ooh. Yeah, that's her. At least, yeah, oh, that's her. Yes, definitely push that. That's Make dope. that blue button green. Her Instagram yes, name is dope as fuck. It's yeah. Inglewood Barbie, yeah. and we'll leave her handle down in the uh, description as well. Yeah, that's so dope. she's she's, she's, def- she's definitely a um, <laughs> yeah, she's a diamond. She's <laughs> definitely a diamond. Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to you. Girl. Yeah. Shout out to you. Yeah. So like, she's definitely doing something great for the community. She's admired. Uh, I'm admired by. Her. Actually, uh, See, I, that's a good. Crush. I definitely admire. That's, that's a good crush. You know, just you know, I, you know, I, I tell, like I said earlier in the podcast, I, I try to put myself in you know different situations. Right, right. And you know, life is happening. You know what I mean? Where you have children, you, you know, you have family. You know, and she always finds time and energy for those you know who are that's and willing to need. Yeah. And those yeah. are, those are that's the most the most willing to need. And she's she's right there day in and day out. And you know, that's something that, you know, you can only admire from a person. That's that's every so person not built like yeah. that. Yeah, and you we know? were actually talking about wanting to get involved more within the community. Yeah, too. well, so that's definitely, definitely somebody to follow out. because yeah. if you follow DM, I'm pretty sure she'll get right back at you because yeah. she calls it, uh, I want to say, Club 51. Uh, Club oh, 51. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and it's lit every night. Okay. It's lit. It's okay. definitely lit. Yeah. Where there's food and provided and stuff like that. <laughs> so definitely, I, I, she more than anybody in Chicago feel right now that she she deserves it just just off her time and energy. Okay, dope. That's dope. Ooh, yes. Shout out to you, girl. All right, guys. So we are yeah. going to wrap, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Thank, Thank you so much, Kelvin, for coming on today. You know what? I had a lot of fun. This is my first podcast. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, I ain't know if y'all was chill as y'all look. <laughs> but, but y'all pass the test. Y'all pass the test. Even your feet pass the test. Hey, chill. It's, 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 everything was all good. I thank y'all. Thank y'all for having me. Thank you for having me. And I even got a mug, y'all. So, you know, shout out to the trifling but true. Yes. 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 ladies. You know, it's, it's definitely a pleasure. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
He leaned in. Sorry. Business inquiry. Serious inquiry. Yeah. Well, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. Our very first guest, and hopefully we'll have more. And Kelvin, if you want to come back, you are more than welcome. Yeah. Let's do this every week, man. Let's I, do I, it. I feel, like, I feel that good. Let's do it. The, the, the team was that good, you know. The, we gonna the have the team. Yeah, I don't want that to you guys. But yeah, until next time, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you next Thursday.